Melly's Trade Victory The following morning, Melly approached the lunch table with a sense of anticipation, her pink and navy butterflies lunchbox in hand. To her surprise, the atmosphere was electric with excitement, but not for the usual sugary delights. Emily unfolded a bunch of succulent grapes, Jake proudly displayed a vibrant mix of berries, and even Tim, the notorious cookie fanatic, had a small container of juicy cherry tomatoes. Intrigued, Melly decided to dig into this newfound interest in fruits and vegetables. As she opened her lunchbox, revealing an array of carrots, broccoli and avocado, an intense shift occurred in the air. Emily, wearing a friendly smile, extended an offer. Hey Melly, how about swapping your carrots for my delicious grapes? Melly hesitated, torn between the allure of the sweet grapes and her commitment to healthier choices. Recalling Mrs. Henry's wise words about the benefits of vegetables, she grinned, No thanks, Emily. I'm going to enjoy my carrots today. Words spread like wildfire, and soon classmates lined up for trades. Tim tempted Melly with cherry tomatoes, and Jake proposed a berry for broccoli exchange. Melly found herself at the centre of a vegetable trading frenzy, surrounded by friends excited to explore nutritious foods. Mrs. Henry, watching the scene unfold, couldn't help but feel a surge of pride. Approaching the table, she remarked, Looks like we have a bunch of healthy eaters here. Remember, eating fruits and vegetables not only makes you strong and smart, but also brings friends together. Melly beamed with pride as she shared her vegetables with friends. The lunchtime atmosphere had transformed into a vibrant exchange of healthy snacks, turning the once-despised lunchbox into a source of pride and friendship. And so, in the small world of Melly's school, the children learned that eating vegetables wasn't about being healthy, it was about sharing, trying new things, and building friendships around a table filled with colourful, nutritious foods. The lunchtime revolution had begun, creating a ripple effect of positive choices that would resonate far beyond the school cafeteria. Thank you so much for stopping by The Listening Corner, where stories come to life. I hope you enjoyed the adventure today. Remember, just like our characters, you have your own unique story to create. So until our next visit to the magical world of imagination, thank you for being fantastic listeners. Stay curious, stay kind, and always let your imagination lead the way in the listening corner. See you on the next exciting journey.